across there. It'd be too late to alter course, matey. <laughs> you come seeking adventure in Salt Hill Pirates, eh? You sure you've come to the proper place? Best be keeping a weather eye open, though, there, mate. And hold on tight to your coin purse. <laughs> what be the matter? Not seeking ye treasure or anything of the sort. Why else do you come to this place? Sure, not enough for just a drink, I don't think. <laughs> no, you have the looks of someone looking for a fortune. Ah, no need to worry. Sure, sure, I'm sure you're looking for honest work. <laughs> but if that be the case, why not go to the Commandant? Hmm. <laughs> Methinks you're not looking for true honest work. You're looking for work that pays. And lucky enough for you, Captain Rogers be the name. And I'm looking for a new mate. See me last one, Chucky. Unfortunately, he uh, met an unfortunate end off the Isle of Sambra. You all may have heard of the place. You haven't? All oh, the tales I could tell. But no need to worry about that. Ah, see, I'm looking for some more crewmates to replace my dearly beloved lost crew. And ye seem to have that air about you. You know, that kind, I mean. The kind of which there seems to be some sort of... I wasn't gonna say destiny. But likely enough it's... Close to it, I suppose. Allow me to introduce myself proper then. My name is Cap'n Jeremy Rogers. And my ship... Go by the name of the Flaming Skull. She's a fierce vessel, one of the fiercest you'll ever find on the ocean. Though I've got my share of enemies, of course, well earned they be. But here I am now, crewless for the most part. But you may have heard of me, I'm sure. <laughs> so my reputation precedes me. Aye, that be true. Indeed, I be the famous pirate, but stole from under the wings of that swan quills, that captain which she's never forgiven me for. But what a heist that were, matey. Still, I nicked the one thing she can't get her hands on now. Lean in close now, matey, and I'll tell you the tale. You see this here key? It unlocks a famous treasure, you see. <laughs> Like as not, it's worth millions. And I promise one fourteenth of all this treasure to make it. All we need do is sail back to Sila Sombre, and we can unlock it. I see you've heard of Lucretia. I. The so-called Vampire Queen. And that Swan Quirrells who supposedly was turned by her before 
our encounter. The rumours be true. Tis a vampire's treasure hoard, sure. Years of stockpile in it, like a dragon on a hoard. But you and I, I've got a secret that I'd share with you. So long as I've got the key, I can enter in and I can steal their treasure. But most importantly of all, I know how to kill me a vampire. I've killed one or two before. Early simple if you know what you're doing. Stake the heart, slice off their head, leave them out in the sun to roast, put a communion wafer what's been blessed by the Holy Church herself onto its tongue and you'll never see that wretched leech again. So do you see? And I got all of it. All of it aboard this flaming skull. I'll have my vengeance on Swan Quill yet, I tell ye. So what do you see? One fourteenth of a million. Still lots of gold. Plenty of treasure. If and that be what you're truly after. <laughs> I can see the greed in your eyes, the glitter of gold and the promise of treasure. It's enough to warm the cockles of any old pirate's heart. And you, lad, and you there, matey, you got the heart of a pirate. That much I can tell. But you think you got enough stomach for it? Dare you brave the haunted sea? Dare face against all kind of monster. <laughs> then I'll let you in on a little more secret then, since you agreed to join the crew. Each of the crew has been marked, you see. Oh, not with anything nasty. We've been marked by the moon. By the moon goddess herself. I. Each of us carries a form of lycanthropy, you see. What you may refer to as werewolfism or where whatever it is, I've got all types. Because here's the thing vampires and werewolves have been at each other's throats for as long as anyone can remember since time immemorial. <laughs> And let me tell you, this wolf, oh, I've been itching to bite back at those vampire queens, for my own reasons. But still, if you join our crew, you agree to take the mark. And once you've been given it, it cannot be taken away or taken back, at least. Not without recompense. <laughs> so, tell me. Will you take on the mark, matey? Join the crew. After adventure and treasure. And join us in the hunt. You don't have to do anything right now. You can wait on it if you'd like. Make a decision. But if I may be so bold. This place is large. And while I see in Sombra is a small island compared to Ubreja and all the other continents, that treasure is invaluable. Even from what I've been told, a small piece of that fortune could make us rich men for the rest of our lives, and then some. Maybe you want me to be retiring, or maybe like me you've got loftier goals. Oh no, you shan't hear that from me. Those are my own secrets now, matey. Best ye be wary. <laughs> so
So what do you say? Need more time or will you take the mark of the beast? Hey, but beware now. If you choose to go against me, if you choose to run off to them vampires, what will mark you with your blood? You won't be the same, and it will be mortal enemies. So I say, peace, if you do sign, remember to fear that old blood. <laughs> By the gods, fear it. <laughs> so what do you see? Become a true pirate. Free to serve under me. To leave as you wish, when you wish. To go where you will when you have the treasure. Buy your own boat. Make your own fleet for all I care. But join me, matey. And there'll be plunder aplenty. What see ye? Excellent. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> then you can follow me to the flame and skull. I'll introduce you to me crew. And in the meantime, don't you worry about the mark yet, mate. You'll learn it once you've been on the crew for a week or so. Maybe a month. We'll test the waters first to see if you've got a stomach for it. Not all who are bitten survive the change, you see. And you get your choice. A strong, proud werewolf you be. Or maybe you want something a little daintier. I've seen plenty of were-rabbits. <laughs> Aye. We don't discriminate. It's just a wee bit of jest. Them wear rabbits you wouldn't believe are strong and fleet. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't discount them just because they're small and fluffy. Now, come. This tavern's starting to get a little crowded for me liking. And it's still early in the evening. Time, then. Soon to have so agreed... To meet the rest of the crew. <laughs> ah, what a lovely evening for a hunt. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> Hello everyone, great to see you in this audio. As you can tell, I'm still a little under the weather again. A little sick. Getting better, but doing the best I can. Um, I was originally going to do an improv with my detective idea. I still might do that, as a matter of fact, and just post it later. Uh, give me some more time to work on the regrets and uh, pain pain audio. And give my voice a chance to recover fully so that I can perform the way I want to. Um, but this was a fun idea, and obviously you can tell I've borrowed a lot of ideas from different places. Um, I hope Disney doesn't sue me, and neither does From Software. <laughs> that being said, uh, so yeah, this was born out of uh, an idea I had last year that I've been thinking about for a while. It just... I'm so used to improv everything now that writing scripts is a little bit harder. Which is why this one is kind of all over the place. Also, I'm a little sick still, like I said, so bear with me. I beg pardon. The next one of these that I do, whenever it is, maybe in a month or so, uh, will absolutely be scripted, and I hope I'll be able to add some more voices that may be familiar to you. I'll reach out to them and see what I do. I just need to write the script, and that might take a bit. In the meantime, I've got a few other things that I've got in mind. Um, thank you all very much for listening to this ramble. Uh, thank you all to my patrons, who have been phenomenal. Your support has been amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, 
I know I do not get to update as much as I want to up there, uh, especially when it comes to my uh, spicier content, but I'm looking to see if I can do some more in the meantime. Alright everyone, well thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you in the next one, and in the meantime, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.